Hey everyone, I'm Rowan and this is our fifth tutorial and today we're going to be going over two tasks. The first one is changing the camera angles. So this means like um, the first camera angle could be one where it's like the first person shooter where the camera is inside the player. Uh, another one's the third person where it's behind him and it's following him the whole time. Um, there's over the shoulder, bird's eye view, top down, and RTS which is real time strategy. And these are all different camera angles that which lead into our second task and we're going to be talking about <coughs> excuse me um, the different genres that changes the game flow and also the game itself so if it was a first person type of game it's going to be a more action packed sort of game that changes the game flow and the game overall sorry about that Okay. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna be going over today, and so let's jump into Unity and get started. Okay, so before we start on that, um, you can see I made some changes to the map. The island looks more like an island because it's sand, and I rearranged the palm trees so it looks more realistic. Have a few islands over there, there, and here. So, um, and also I added this ocean, which is very, very large compared to our island, which you can see right there, and here's the ocean. So, you can double click on the player and you'll zoom back in onto him. So, um, I'll just show you how to add an ocean and such. So, here's our ocean. All I did was add an empty game object, which you can go here, game object, create empty, and it'll be just like this, and if you double click it, it's just this blank thing, there's nothing in it. So um, first things first, go over to transform on the empty game object, right click and click reset. And then you can double click it again. So now it placed it at the very center of our world. And then all you're gonna do is, just like right here, pretend this is that game object, so I'm just gonna do like that. Here's our empty game object, just rena rename it to ocean, right here. And then drag and drop in. Wait, let's see this. Okay. Um. Also set this to a uh, reasonable height off the ground. So I did 20. So it's lifted all up. If it was at zero, it would be like this. It'd be the same height as the plane, <coughs> the ground level for the train. And we don't want that because it looks all weird and things are clipping through it. So just go ahead and give it an, a positive number, but not too high just so you can raise the water up and then in that object here's our actual water mesh and to do that just click standard assets and then water basic and we're going to be using daylight you can also do the nighttime one so use the nighttime one drag it in there and there, whoops two eight two two eight plus There we go. Um, all I'm doing is just resizing the water so it's big enough to um, be like, it, like so it simulates the actual ocean. It doesn't have to be like as big as the ocean, otherwise it'd be massive and it would slow down our game. Um, so yeah, just make sure it's a nice height or um, size. So you can pick which one you want to do, daylight or nighttime. Just if you do like nighttime, then you'd have to change the skybox to a nighttime uh, sort of skybox and take out the sun, obviously. But let's just use the daylight one. So it is 000, zero, zero in the ocean game object, and then change its size to something pretty big, like uh, let's just do 30,000. 30,000. Zero, 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 zero. And this remain at 1 because that's the Y value and it doesn't matter because it's um, 2D. It doesn't have any height to it because you can see the rays we go through it. It's just invisible on this side and you can see the ground. And in later tutorials, I'll show you how to um, make it so whenever you, the player goes underwater, it makes it look like he's underwater, which is a really simple effect. Um, so yeah, this is how you make the ocean. And we'll just close that. Double click our player. 
And this is the sort of effect that we get. Oops. What the? Okay. So now let's go into changing his camera. So we have our player right here. And let's, so here's first person I'll go ahead and play. All right, here's our first person. We can look up and down like this, look around, and when we walk forward and look around, we're still walking forward in that direction that we're facing. And you can look up and down, jump, you can strafe right and left, and all that. And of course, there's a lot more they can add, like gun or his hands or anything. Like you can pick up objects, a flashlight, whatever. All that is 100% customizable, and you have 100% control over that. So let's change his camera. So as you can see, the main camera is a child of the controller, the pers first person controller right here. And so that means whenever you move the first person controller, anything under that, which are these two things, follow it. So like here's the camera right here. And you'll see as I move the player, it moves the camera with it. And also you can see the graphics. That's just the body, which is this capsule that just gives us an actual object to look at so we know where the player is because if this was invisible it'd be a lot harder to detect where the player is in the world except for like the little camera symbol so we're gonna just leave this active so we can see them easier all right so let's move this camera so if I move this camera back all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging this red square right here and that moves it in two axes which is the Y and Z. And um, you can also move it by the arrows, like this. So um, whenever the camera is selected, it gives you a camera preview box right here. And this just shows what the camera is looking at. Also, if you go to the game view, it shows it in a bigger screen. So um, let's just move it back to about there. And let's just see what happens just by doing that. Now, I will move the mouse up and down, and it'll still look up and down. And the reason is, for that, the script for the mouse look is still on it. So, if I move the mouse up and down, it'll rotate up and down looking. So, all you have to do to stop that problem is to uncheck mouse look. And you can also remove it, but that means it'll be gone from this um, game object, and you just have to add it again. But um, we can just uncheck it, and then I'll do the same thing. So now, whenever I move the mouse up and down, it doesn't look up and down. All we can do is go sideways and walk around and jump, of course. So, um, and you can see how we're looking forward, and it's like you can't really see the player that much. To fix that, all you have to do is just rotate the camera on its X axis right here to like. 15 or something like that. So now, when we play, there we go. We can see our player, we can walk around, jump, all that. We can't look up and down though. Um, if you want it to be able so you can look up and down just a bit, you can re enable this and make it so the range of how far it can look up and down just make these numbers less. So instead of negative 60, do uh, negative 20 and 10 or something like that. Now we can look up and down just a little bit. Like I'm going all the way up, I'm still going up, but it restricts how much I can look up and down. Um, so that's another cool effect you can do. So, um, all right, now let's do the over the shoulder. So let's unselect that, go to bird's eye view, move the camera to right about there, and down. So here's our player, and it's he's facing this way. So when we select it, the blue arrow, that's the direction he's looking. And then the main camera is looking this way. And it isn't right behind him, it's just moved over to the left, and then you can move it how far away from it. So let's do like right about there. And that. Now when we click play, the camera will still follow the player, because it's a child of the object. 
and see we can rotate and walk around and this is a over the shoulder view and now let's do a bird's eye view so it's basically this is also how you do um, like a mini map or a radar sort of thing what we're doing is just moving the camera straight up actually let's do this reset it so it's right where the player's position is and then we're going to just click drag move it up a decent amount right about there and then for rotation just type in 90 so now it is 90 degrees instead of this is zero and then 90 so it's going straight down so now we'll click play this is what we see and you can see a lot more on the player which is nice for some games like um um, what would it be like a um, bird's eye view shooter game like that so you can see a lot more and so that's how you do that and then um, there's also the RTS which is real-time strategy and let's do the rotation about 75 or 60 <laughs> And move it to right about there. Click play. There we go. And you can change how you want it to be, but that's how you change the different camera angles to make it so it's a different genre. Um, just like that, by moving the camera around. And of course, you can work off of that to make it so like um, the camera has a little bit of movement. Like if we do something like this, let's see. I have to test around with this, do negative 60, or that'd be, that, yeah, glitch it out, um, so we need a 60, so let's do minimum, let's do 70, and then, uh, 50, I think it has to be the other way around, yeah, 50, 70, negative though, negative 50, negative 70, or switch that, negative 70, negative 50, sorry it's just taking forever, it's just, it always, there we go, it always takes a little bit of tinkering to get it right, so, negative 70, negative 50, and that's how you make it so you can move the camera of it, and move the player and all that, rotate around him, so, so just by moving the camera around, changing some of its properties, that's how you change the genre of the game, real easily, so let's go ahead and change this back to, I think it was like negative 60, 60, reset, we have to move this up to 0.95 so we'll be at the top of his body which is basically where his head is click play and now it's back to an FPS game okay <clears throat> so that's how you do that and uh, that will be the end of this tutorial video so stay tuned for the next tutorial videos, and please comment and subscribe, and like it if it was helpful to you. Thanks.